Let us make a study with Mitsubishi PLC. This is our controlling platform. There is a robot arm, four conveyors, three pushes, and three boxes. If we give a command to Y0, then this robot arm pick a part randomly from here and place it into this conveyor. Then this part will be moving along this direction. If it's a small part, we have to stop conveyor Y2 and actuate Y5 pusher for dropping that object into this box. If it's a medium part, we have to stop conveyor Y3 and actuate Y6 pusher for dropping that object into this box. If it is a large size part, then we have to stop Y4 conveyor and actuate Y7 pusher for dropping into this box. This is the control object that we have to do. The next step is to identify all inputs and outputs. Y0. Y0 is a supply command output. If you give a pulse to Y0, then robot arm plays an object to conveyor 1. X0 is a starting point detector that is used to denote the initial state of robot arm. If the robot arm is in initial position, then X0 will be high, a high state denoted by red color and a low state denoted by blue color like this. This is conveyor 1. The conveyor 1 holds a 3 number of sensor. A sensor tower, we can call it a sensor tower. If an object, a small object passing across the sensor tower, then X3 will be get high. And for a medium particle, X3 and X2 will get high. And for a large, large particle, the 3 number of sensors, X1, X2 and X3 will be get high. Y5, Y6, Y7, these are output signal used for actuating these three pushing motor. And the X10, X11, X12, these are input signal used for identifying the exact position of the part on these conveyors. And the X4, X5, X6, these three sensors are using to identify the passing of an object from conveyor to corresponding boxes. That means X4 sensor is used to identify passing of an object from here to box S. Yes. Similarly, X5 used for medium size box and X6 used for large size box. Then there is another sensor X7. This sensor is used to detect falling of an object from conveyor to floor by loss of control. Then these are all of our inputs and outputs we are using. So the next step is to designing a ladder logic for part distribution program. Starting our design, we can take a look on Mr. Bush's PLC's general view. In this simulation, the inputs are ranges from X0 to X27 and outputs ranges from Y0 to Y27. Some of its inputs like X28, 21, 22, 23 are internally wired with push button 1, 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, X24 and X25 input signal internally wired with such as SW1 and SW2 and also output signal Y0, Y21, Y20, Y21, Y22, Y23 and internally wired with lamp display unit and these are the operation panel available in the simulation and this is the ladder drawing area for starting with the ladder select project then new project then an empty window will be available like this with an empty rung. For inserting symbols, press function key F5. Then a simple window will be available. There is a drop down menu. This is a drop down menu. This consists of entire symbols and notations of Mitsubishi PLC. We can choose any one of from here and named. This is a naming area and press OK. For example, we are selecting an open contact, then named by X0, then OK. And we are placing a closed contact, then named by X1, and OK. Also, outputs are denoted by letter Y and symbol by closing brackets. And Y0, this is an output. And the first run is completed with two input signal and one output. X0 is an open contact and X1 is a closed contact and a Y0. 
so the next symbol we can consider some branching symbols these two symbols are used for branching branching signal means this symbol is branching with the nearby contact this is also input signal so we can name by x2 then press ok then these x2 contacts make a branch with x0 parallel like this then some other contacts also available in Mitsubishi like P. P take a look P this P is a rising edge input contact is also input contacts were named by X you can name it X5 then press ok the symbol like this will be available this means that there is an input signal x y if it is a continuous signal or a discrete signal is not a matter it senses only the rising edges of our input signal similarly also falling edges signal is also available just for f f is denoted by falling edge these are the major instructions available in mr shi plc these two symbols are used for making horizontal lines along with rung and this is used for making vertical lines between trunks and uh, some other also available this is a, there is a closer box bracket this is used for entering commands uh, like resetting counter resetting timer etc command window command bracket these are the symbols and notation used in Mitsubishi PLC so the next step is we can start our design for part distribution control with the ladder, ladder logic our own configuration this is the ladder diagram we are using to control our part distribution program we can study it in rung by rung rung 0 consists of an input signal x20 x20 signal wired with push button 1 pb1 when we are pressing pb1 it actuates y0 y0 supply command then robot arm will place an object to convert 1 S20 is also used to latching Y1. Y1 is conveyor forward command, and when we and it will be latched Y, Y1 coded parallel connected with this 20. We can summarize this two run. That means when we are pressing PB1, robot arm place an object to conveyor and conveyor the moves that object from here to here. Then the next three runs, run six rank 12 and rank 18 used for memory function that means when an object passing across these sensors x3 x2 x1 passing across these sensors the sensor output will be high and when the object is moves away from the sensor the sensor output will be low so we have to memorize the output of these sensors to actually to control the remaining section the remaining three conveyor control and the remaining three pushers so we have to memorize the output of these signals so we use an internal relay of Mitsubishi PLC internal relay denoted by M and we using three internal relays M0, M1 and M2 for memorize function let us see how it works when I know small object passing across the sensor X3 will be get high then corresponding M0 will be actuated and the signal will be latched by M0 the name zero will be high for small object. Similarly, for a medium particle is moving across the sensor, x3, x2 will get high and m1 will actuate. Similarly, in large particle. So we use m0, m1, m2 and its contact for controlling the remaining section. Here, one more closer contact we are using M4. M4, M4. The M4 we can discuss in later. This M4 contact is used for reset function. Then we can consider the next three ranks rank 24, 27, and 30. These three ranks are used to control Y5, Y6, Y7. These are the pressure placed above the conveyor. The are M0 conduct, M1 conduct, M2 conducts are placed according with the three outputs. These are used for detecting the size of part. For a medium part is passing across the sensor, M1 get closer and M0, M2 will be open condition. 
and the part is moving from here to here then x10 will be detect that part and x10 will be get closed but it will not actuate wi-fi because m0 is open condition and the part again passing from here to here then x11 will be detect that part then x11 will get closed then the signal is passed from here to here and y6 will be actuated that will push us that particle from here to medium box suppose if a small particle then m0 will be high and this particle moving from here to here, the external will be detected that part, the next will be get closed. Then Wi Fi will be actuated and it pushes from here to here, that small particle. Similarly, in the case of large particle. So these rungs are used for controlling these three pushes by M0, M1, and M2. We memorized this contact and the memorized contact is used for controlling these three pushes. But here, take a close look. We need some interlock here. Take the cursor of a medium particle. The medium particle is passing from here to here and coming along to here to here. For before pushing, before actuating Y6, we should stop this conveyor. So we need some interlock in conveyor driving logic. Let us see how it's work. Then we can see conveyor driving logic. Rank 33, 38 and 42 are used for conveyor driving. Y2 is the conveyor, second conveyor driving motor and Y3 used for driving third conveyor and Y4 used for fourth conveyor. Here contacts M0, M1, M2 are making a logical OR function here because conveyor Y2 need to run on the presence of small particle, medium particle and also with large particle. Here only we make a logical order of M1 and M2 because Y3 third conveyor only need to run on the presence of large and medium particle. Similarly in the case of Y4, the conveyor Y4 only need for running on the presence of a large particle. So M2 is only placed here. Here another interlocked conduct that already we have been discussed in previous section. The Y5, Y6 and Y7, these are the interlocking contacts on conveyor driving logic. Here, let us consider the presence of a medium particle. If a particle is in size of medium, then Y6 will be pushing that particle to these boxes. Whenever Y6 pusher motor is excited, then this contact get open status and Y3 will be in off state. So conveyor Y3 will be in stop before starting the Y6. This is the interlock we are used for small particle and also for large particle. Then finally let us see one more input contact X21. This is a push button contact. Whenever we are pressing PB2, it will energize M4. M4 will be erased for large risk types. Take a look. M2, M1, M0 connected along with M4 contact, it will be get latched and also Y1, this is the first driving, first latched driving conveyor that also get an latched condition. So here, this is the program we have written for part distribution. Then we can check our program on the simulation platform, press on conversion, right to click icon. Then our program right in the virtual PLC. Yes, it's ready for simulation. By clicking on PB1 push button, robot can pick a part randomly and go into place on conveyor 1. We can check its size. Yes, it is a medium size particle, so Y6 pusher will be actuated. Yes, our program is working for medium size particle. Then reset our program by PB1. Again, actual robot arm. It going to place another part on the conveyor. It is a small part, so Wi-Fi will be actuated. Okay, program working for small part also. Going to reset. Checking for another object. So it is a large size part so y7 pressure will be actual we can check whether it is working or not ok 
okay it's working so we obtained our control objective okay thank you